Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Denise Easley. I am a nurse here at St. Luke's in our newborn intensive care unit. I'm also a member of the Lynn County Safe Sleep Task Force. Here at St. Luke's, we are proud to be a um, member of the Cribs for Kids um, Gold Certified Safe Sleep Champion. So the reason I'm here today is to talk to you about the importance of safe sleep. The reason this is so important is because we are seeing a number of preventable deaths related to unsafe sleep practices across our country, including here in Lynn County. This is very important because these are preventable deaths. So for today's practical purposes, we're not going to talk about SIDS, but we're going to talk about the prevention of suffocation deaths. So what is safe sleep? Safe sleep is simply the practices of putting your baby to sleep on their back in a safe crib or pack and play. They're always alone. And if you remember, remember the ABCs of safe sleep, that's the easiest way to always remember those key messages. So we'll talk a little bit about those. One thing that's really important that came out by the American Academy of Pediatrics last fall is to always have babies sleeping in the parent's room for the first year of life. That used to be six months, but it was increased to one year. This is called room sharing, not to be confused with co-sleeping. Co-sleeping refers to babies being in their parent bed. And the reason that's so important is because those babies that are in bed with a parent or on a couch or in a recliner, they're at risk for suffocation, especially if the parent is um, impaired with alcohol, medications, or drugs. The baby is um, more vulnerable between one and six months, but certainly anything can happen before one month and anything can happen after six months. We use the safe sleep guidelines until age one, and then um, after that, when babies go into their toddler bed or their twin bed, that's a time when you can add a pillow or a blanket, but when they're in their crib, they really don't need that. So what does this safe crib look like? The crib should always be bare with a firm, tight-fitting mattress and a crib sheet. It should be completely bare. No bumper pads, including mesh, no stuffed animals, no positioning devices, no loose animal or loose blankets, and consider putting the baby into a wearable blanket. Wearable blankets are nice because they stay in place and they don't become a loose blanket. Once the baby starts rolling over, they should not be in a swaddled position because then they can be compromised. So make sure that you um, look, really pay attention to their cues and when they're starting to roll over. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that uh, the room is not too hot. That becomes a risk factor for SIDS. Also, um, it's important to keep immunizations up to date, breast milk, uh, no smoking, all of those things will help keep, keep your baby safe. And so I want you to remember the ABCs of safe sleep. Always alone, always on your back, and always in a safe crib or pack and play. The other important thing to remember is not using um, things like a swing or a rock and play for sleep. If your baby falls asleep in the car seat, when you take the baby out of the car and bring them in the house, you should take them out of the car seat. Those things are not for safe sleep. And then um, I think that is all I really have to say today. If you have any questions, please contact your provider.